So I always kind of looked up to these fitness girls. I remember like 10 years ago, as a joke, a friend of mine sent me a really old YouTube video. There's nothing special about it, but I related so much to it. I just seen these girls and they just looked like they had everything organized in their life and their fitness and their meals and it wasn't so much about the physical but I just loved their confidence and their kind of mannerism. I always had that in my mind, like I want to be a fitness girl, I want to be like one of these girls and lately I've been through a physical change, you know, I've lost weight, I've gained muscle um, and I had a few people asking me like, oh, so are you preparing to be a bikini competitor? Are you comparing, you know, wanting to do this? And I always said, no, 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 I, I never wanted to do it. And then I thought, why don't you? You know, so I feel like I'm kind of going back to my 21 year old Lauren that used to go and buy these magazines and look at these girls and read what they did and their exercises and I'm kind of living out that dream. You learn things about yourself as well on the way. And I have to say, I'm so excited to do this. So first training session on, let's say, bikini prep has been with Yetha. Just so that you understand, I normally train with Louise or with Yetha. And it was bloody hard. She kicks your ass. It's kind of working your muscles in a different way. Um, you do sometimes lower weights, high reps, you do drop sets, you do, do rest pauses. Um, and yeah, it's gonna kick my ass, but I'm excited for the rest of it. So today with Yetha, we started off with a sumo deadlift. She put smaller discs on the barbell to make it more deeper for me, so I have to squat deeper. We then did a superset and we combined it with the hack. So we did with the hack like 10 to 15 reps and we did four rounds of this. We then moved it on to another superset where we did good morning using the hack and we combined it with hip thrust using the multi power. We then moved on to our third superset where we did leg press and we combined it with, I kind of think it's, I think it's called the frog. And this is a great like booty blaster. Then we did our fourth and last superset, which was glute kickbacks combined with adductors. We did drop sets on each of these exercises, which means on your last set, which for us was the fourth set, we then take a higher weight, we smash out a rep of 10, then we take off some of that weight and then we try to do five to 10 reps more. On the first posing class, I learned that it's not just strutting around in a bikini and showing off your muscles, it's actually much more than that. Um, you learn how to hide some of your defects, you learn how to show off things in the correct way. For bikini, for example, it's really important to have a small waist and bigger shoulders, and also to show off your glutes. So it's making the most of what you've got, and you learn a lot about that. And I have to say, it is not easy. It's physically hard, because physically you're holding a pose that's not very comfortable, and you also have to tense up muscles for